Hurricane Douglas should be a wake-up call for a lot of businesses. Because for one, we are still in hurricane season through November. Plus, did you know that 25% of businesses do not reopen after a natural disaster? That's according to the Institute for Business and Home Safety. Joining us this morning with some guidance is Roseanne Freitas, Hawaii Marketplace Manager with the Better Business Bureau, Northwest and Pacific. Good morning, Roseanne, and how are you doing? You made it through Hurricane Douglas okay? Yes, I did, Ross. And I want to thank KHON for that. You guys did a great job with your coverage this weekend. Well, thank you very much. Now, Douglas was a great reminder, but what should businesses be doing for unexpected weather like we could have had? Exactly. And we, and we skirted it. We got so lucky, but that doesn't mean we always will. So we always have to have a plan in place. And it's best to have that plan further in advance than just two or three days. So what that should include is what to do with employees, customers, equipment, and your property. So have that plan to let people inform them, especially your customers and your employees, right? But what do you do with your equipment and how do you make your property safe? So have that in a written plan so you know that in advance. Focusing again on communication with the, everybody around you so they know if your business is open or closed during the storm. And probably the big one is to back up your vital data. And you don't want to keep that information on site at your work location. So you want to make sure you have all of it backed up in the cloud or, or also separate from your location. So that way, if your business gets hit, it, you don't lose everything. And then, of course, within those files, what should you have backed up? You should have your insurance policies, um, legal contracts, your tax returns, your accounting files, and then your client and vendor lists, and anything else that you need to get your business going again. So that's the what you should have in part of it. And then we also talk about the recovery side. So say the storm hits and you have the damage, then you need to go right to it. You need to assess the damage to the structure and immediately contact your own insurance company if you need to. Um, and identify any critical components and functions that are, you're going to need to reopen your business. And then anticipate being short-staffed because they may have been impacted by any storms. So again, it's just having these processes in place well in advance of a storm. So we have this plan. You also got to think maybe long term because hurricane or storms can cause significant damage. Exactly. So then you need more than just a recovery plan. You need a contingency plan. And that is what you're going to do for the long term. And I think some of us may already have some of that in place because of COVID-19. However, again, look at it for a storm. What, if, you're, if your location is shut down, do you have a temporary work site? Can you accommodate all your employees? Maybe they can work remotely. We've already found that's actually pretty successful for a lot of businesses. But you need that list. What needs to come up first in your business structure? Find the priorities and get those key components list ready to go and up and running so you can continue your business. And again, having all that backup data available as soon as you need it. And then again, contacting your customers and letting them know, okay, these are our hours of operation. We're open. We're closed. Just Again, communication with everybody on that. So business owners that are watching at home going, uh-oh, I better get on it. What resources are available to assist their company for the unexpected? Well, FEMA has a great resource on their website. And if you go to it, I, I, I'm sure you guys will put the link up later. There's a great resource that tells you kind of a step-by-step -step process of what you need to put together. That's a great one. Or you can go to bbb.org. All right, there you have it, Roseanne Freitas. And, of course, we will have those links on our website at kh12.com. And Roseanne said you got to be basically proactive and not reactive when it comes to these natural disasters.